Here you go. Is this for me? No, that's for my dogs. You give the dogs to Sonny? I drink to Sonny, my dogs drink to Sonny. This is what I do every morning about four o'clock, so if you ever up early, you can have some coffee. 4 a.m.? Well, yeah, I don't get up at 4 p.m. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for my bath. We don't take baths. Okay, imagine your grandpa who fought in the war. That guy can't even unwind in a nice warm bath. Yeah. I mean, well, I can't imagine it because I take baths like this. But anyways, back to Bill. He can't take a bath, and unlike Flint, there's no government help, no lead filters, no free bottled water, and on top of that, he has to pay for the water he can't drink. We pay about a, a, between 90 and $110 a month on bottled water. And then we pay about $132 a month for our uh, sewer, garbage, and water that's delivered to the house. The water sucks. By the way, you owe us $130? Yeah. Don't drink this, but send your check. OK, here's the crazy part. For years, city, state, and federal officials never warned Ranger residents about lead in the water. In fact, when USA Today broke the story, that's how some of these people found out. Of course, not everyone needed a warning to know their water was straight garbage. How has the water crisis affected you? Like that. Ah. That came right out of the bathtub faucet. I get my paycheck, and I spend half of my paycheck on bottled water. That's crazy. The college students should be able to use their money to buy alcohol and drugs. You can't eat with it. You can't cook with it. You can't drink it. Hell, me and her can't even get in the shower and get naked and get Gosh. freaky with it. You know what I mean? You don't even want the water on you. The, that can't stuff do turns your teeth, it. man. Imagine what it'll do to the other parts. You right. know what I mean? So, right. uh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> so if you want I'm sex with you in the shower, one. you got to go to Weatherford or Fort Worth, somewhere that way, buddy. <laughs> don't do it here. All right, that's it. People can't even f in the shower. This is America. Time to face the people in charge. I decided to show up to Ranger City Hall unannounced and give them a piece of my mind. How's it going? I'm Osama Najin with The Daily Show. The director of public works started by defending the water. Water is safe to drink. It is safe to consume. You can cook with it. You can bathe with it. You can clean your dishes with it. It's not going to harm you. Is it safe to have sex in the shower with? I don't care if you have sex in the shower or have sex in the middle of Main Street. It don't give a damn to me where you have it. Do you drink the tap water? I drink the tap water. Yes. Really? Regularly? Yeah. I haven't had a problem since I've been here, but I'll, I'll go drink tap water right now. All right. So here's, this is a cup of Ranger Texas water, straight out the tap. Good. This is like World Star Water Edition. <laughs> Roger. You never had better. No, come on, Roger, you had better. I think we both can agree that just from an infrastructure level, there is something wrong with the water. I'm not going to say there isn't anything wrong with the water, and there has been for, but you know, I can't change a whole city system because we don't have $15 million. That's just the no norm about small communities and small systems that haven't kept up with times. We've gotten lead samples here that are bad out of City Hall. So then why did you just drink that water? I'm not concerned about it because it's not that one little 16 ounce cup of water is not gonna hurt me. I know, but I'm concerned. You shouldn't have done that on camera. Like, I don't want you to get hurt, man. Got a belly full of lead. Okay, so who's gonna fix this? The city's broke and also run by people who drink poison water. And while the state of Michigan gave Flint millions of dollars to fix their water infrastructure, the state of Texas hasn't stepped up for Ranger yet. And the federal government, well, President Trump made Scott Pruitt the new head of the EPA. Pruitt previously killed an environmental protection unit that investigated water contamination. Basically, Pruitt running the EPA is like Pablo Escobar running the DEA. So residents like Bill Brister aren't really crossing their fingers. How are they doing in Flint? You know, I think that the, the, the people are going to be forgotten like a lot of other things, you know, in this country. And it's not just us, it's tons and tons of other cities. It's a, it's a mess. Yeah, it's a nationwide mess. There are places like Ranger all over the country where safe drinking water laws are being violated. So until somebody actually steps in and helps the situation, millions of Americans in small towns across this country won't be able to drink their water, bathe in their water, but most importantly, in their water.